What's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMG WTF LOL FTW BRB, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play WWE 2K14's 30 Years of WrestleMania. In the previous episode, we just got started when we slammed Big John Stud with Andre the Giant and climbed out of a cage between Hulk Hogan and King Kong Bundy. This time, we're going to be going through what many people consider the greatest WrestleMania match of all time, and that is between Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Macho Man Randy Savage. I believe there should be a cutscene. Yep. Reigning Intercontinental Champion Randy Macho Man Savage took things too far in his title defense against Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. He can't breathe! Look at that! He can't breathe! Oh yeah! Macho Man Randy Savage, Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, was in a state of shock when Ricky the Dragon Steamboat came back. Steamboat returning to the ring after suffering a but this time, in front of the largest audience in the world, I will not only embarrass you, not only pin you with the one, two, three count, but I'm gonna put you out for good. The day has finally come. We have reached our moment. We clash like two titans. But there will only be one winner. Macho Man and the Dragon would settle their differences in the ring at WrestleMania 3. But this was not the only heated rivalry going into the big event. WrestleMania 3. The biggest main event of all time. The heavyweight champion of the world, Hulk Hogan, and the challenger, Hulk's former friend, Andre the Giant. When I saw him out there with Bobby the Weasel Heenan, I knew he was different. I'm here for one reason, to challenge you for a world championship match in the WrestleMania. You can't believe it? Maybe you'll believe this, Hogan. When you tore my shirt off, man, when you tore the cross, you tore the heart and soul out of all the little hopsters, man. Believe me, WrestleMania 3 will be your last lesson. Oh, wow. Well, there was a nice little cutscene there. Hopefully you guys will be able to see it because I am still unsure if I'm going to be able to show off that stuff or not. Because as I said in the previous video last year... Uh, I got a lot of problems with showing off entrances and those kind of videos from uh, with uh, WB13's Attitude Era mode. So hopefully this year I don't have that many problems. I'm letting the pictures uh, siphon through. I believe this will be the last one. So as you see, there's Ricky Steamboat, there's Macho Man Randy Savage, and there's Savage and Miss Elizabeth. Let's get this match underway. Ricky Steamboat versus Macho Man Randy Savage on March 29th in 1997 in the Pontiac, well in Pontiac, Min Mississippi, no Minnesota, excuse me. And it's for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Our match stimulation, stimulation, stipulation is to win by pinfall or submission. And we have three historical objectives. We have to complete the WrestleMania moment. And uh, we have two hidden objectives. So let's get this match Here underway. Comes, way Mississippi or Minnesota? I don't know. Plus are on their feet to meet and greet Ricky the 
Dragon Steamboat. Well, alrighty then. Uh, very nice entrances there. Very lifelike in a believe they're exact replicas of um, the entrances from the actual WrestleMania. I've seen this match many times, and I do agree with a lot of people. It is ar arguably one of the greatest WrestleMania matches of all time. But uh, it was very lifelike. The entrances seem so surreal there. The only uh, gripe I can make, though, is that George D. Animal Steel did not accompany Ricky uh, Steamboat to the arena. And I mean, even though it's not a huge gripe, to me, it's not. To, it's lazy, if you ask me. I mean... They put so much into this. And, uh, wait, WrestleMania moment when the four, but no, this is just like last year. Objectives may, yeah, this is like last year also. So, it's just like, I'm not mad about it, but if I had to make a gripe, that would be it. Because, I mean, we've seen them make Bobby the Brain Heen, and we've seen them make Miss Elizabeth. Why not make, uh, George the Animal Steel? And I guess you can make the argument that, well, if they made Steel in the game, they might as well make him a playable character. And my argument back is... It's already well known that Mr. Perfect is in this game as a manager exclusive only, unless of course you get downloadable content, and uh, we don't get to play as him, so I don't know. To me, it's it's a small little thing that they could have added that they didn't. It doesn't ruin the match, but at the same time, it does feel a little kind of empty without uh, the, the, the animal here. So, uh, Macho Man, finally great to see him in this game. I'm, of course, I'm not playing as him, unfortunately. But uh, Randy Macho Man Savage, you know, one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. And for some reason, uh, unknown to a lot of people, the uh, WWE has learned to ignore Macho Man, honestly. And uh, there's many rumors why. Uh, one of the big ones that I hear a lot is that apparently uh, Macho Man and Stephanie McMahon might have a uh, gone all the way and I'm not going to say it out loud because I don't know who's watching my channel. I don't know if it's a young kid or some adults, but you should get what I'm saying. They they went to they went they did a home run. They they skipped first, second and third and just went all the way. That's what I'm saying. That's one of the rumors I hear. Uh, apparently there was other rumors that McMahon and Macho Man just never liked each other. Other stuff I I don't no one knows exactly why Macho Man has been ignored and it's a shame that it took his death for uh, WWE to finally acknowledge Macho Man again. And uh, just in case none of you know, Macho Man unfortunately has passed away. I believe King Kong... Bu oh, wait, here's the WrestleMania moment. I almost missed that. So uh, now we got to get Randy Savage to uh, critical damage, which shouldn't be hard because we already have him the moderate, apparently. Let's see what your signature is. Oh, okay. That didn't get in the critical? I believe uh, Steamboat has a crossbody finisher. Yes, we got him the critical. Now we have a hidden objective. Don't know what the hidden objective is. So, uh, I guess we just beat up on Savage or get reversed. It is nice to see Steamboat again. Uh, Steamboat was in a WWE 12 and one of my more favorite additions to the game. So, uh, it's nice to have him back in this game because, I don't know, I, I like Richie, Ricky? Ricky Steamboat's what his name is. Richie Steamboat is uh, his son. And, uh, what is this? Okay. So, win with a leverage pin on a stun opponent. I thought that said stun DDP for a second. Oh, he got me. I thought for sure I would have reversed that, honestly. Oh, God. No. Shit. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Scoop that guy up. No pinning, though. All right, let's see if we can get in right now, actually. Uh, let's go for it. Nice. Got a leverage pin. We got a Yay, we win. All right, cool.
Did it freeze? Here is your winner, oh, there we go. And new Intercontinental Champion, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. No one's going to talk, really? Oh, all right, well... We may not have done the match justice because it was kind of a one-sided beatdown for us, but that right there was uh, fun. I, I, I really did enjoy that. I just wish I could play Macho Man, though. I love... I want to play Macho Man so bad. What did we unlock? Let's see. We unlocked Miss Elizabeth from WrestleMania 3, I guess. Uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. The WWE Intercontinental Championship from 1987. And uh, Randy Macho Man Savage. Uh... I say let's go to the next match, which I believe will be Hogan and Andre, and I am correct. Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant on March 29th in 1997. Once still, we're in the Pontiac in Minnesota, or Mississippi, I believe it's Minnesota. It is for the WWE Championship match, and our match stipulation is to win this match by pinfall or submission. And we have four histor historical bonus objectives. One is to grapple Andre when he's at light damage by the ring steps. And then we have three hidden objectives so let me go through the pictures as you see uh this is all with andre hogan and macho I mean, not macho man uh R roddy piper here we have hogan and piper and here we have andre hogan and piper again and they're all, all the same they're actually throwing trash at him <laughs> I would like to apologize if the audio is off, Nerds and Geeks. Apparently, I did drop some frames at some point. But uh, I have two things I want to comment on about those entrances. Uh, oh, we just dropped some frames right there. Uh, one, uh, I really love the touch of the fans throwing garbage at both Andre and uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan. And uh, two, I don't know if this is right or not i just am kind of confused i don't like i said i don't know if this really is because I'm, I'm not saying hulk hogan didn't come down on that little ring thing i'm just confused as to why uh what's this And the time for talk is over. Press A to initiate a front face lock and again to body slam. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, and Andre, come right at me. So, uh, 
I just, I'm, I don't know why Hogan didn't come down with a little ring thing. Uh, Macho Man and Steamboat did. Andre and, well, GG. The, the slam heard around the world. That's not a big thing. I don't even know if he really did enter without with one or not. I do have to get Andre the Giant to light damage, though, on the outside of the ring and then uh, grapple him near the ring steps. Oh, Lord. All right. Come on. We can take Andre. So a lot of people credit this match to being uh, what really got WWE booming. I mean, it was the slam heard around the world, and you'll see later when we have to slam Andre the Giant. Spoiler alert if you didn't know that you're not a wrestling fan. I'm just saying. Oh, we got him the light, so uh, let's get him on the outside. Please don't put him the moderate. I don't know if it works like that. All right. So let's, uh, let's get him out here. And uh, let's exit. And uh, we need to get him near the ring steps. Is this close enough? Oh, it is. Ooh. So we got that. Now we have to Irish whip Andre when he's at critical damage in the ring. Okay. I want to say that headbutt looked very vicious. What do I have? Oh, I have a comeback. Ah, should I use it? I, it, might, it might help me damage him a little bit more. All right, yeah, let, we'll use it. Let's use it. Let's use this comeback. Uh, what do we got to do? We gotta, I'm assuming we got to lift him up. And now we can do it. X. You. That's what he did. He went, you. Hulk Hogan was soldier boying before anybody else. You. Do. Do. That was a dumb joke. Oh, we got a comeback. Sweet. Why did they get all loud all of a sudden? Oh, Andre the Giant. Oh god, we missed. In his 15 year career, no one has defeated Andre. He's rarely even been off his Oh yeah, this is Andre the Giant's first loss apparently. Hulk Hogan, burying people longer than John Cena. And we'll be fair, John Cena's put over some people. Unfortunately, some of those people I don't like, like Daniel Bryan. That is a conversation for a different time though. We're not talking about that. We're talking about Hogan and Andre, the match that everyone uh Claims to be, including myself, what is what put WWE on the top. What is that? What is he doing? Oh, he's supposed to do that. Okay, I, I just wanted to make sure. Not happening, dude. Not happening. Can you just get the critical damage already? I don't have a steel cage to slam you into, so... Let's run from behind or, or get a DDT too. I don't need another finisher. Fine, we'll do it just to get him at critical. This should put him at critical. Sweet. And now we have to Irish whip him in the ring. So there we go. Oh, it's a moment. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. Is this the WrestleMania moment too? Oh, it has to be. We just slammed Andre the Giant. And now we just got to hit him with a leg drop. Let's do it. Oh, he, he reversed it. Oh, no. He has two finishers. He could win right here. 
Oh, we slammed him finally. Andre wasn't supposed to reverse it. That's very historically inaccurate, Andre. Oh, he, he went for his finisher, too. That's right. Here we go. Boom! Now go for the pin and let's win this thing. Oh, you're kidding me! Too close to the rope. Bobby the Brain Heenan did it. I'm not ending this match stupidly like that. I'm sorry, nerds and geeks. You know who I am. We're going to hit a leg drop on him and we're going to win. Alright. Stay there. There's the boot! And now here we go. Now we'll hit a leg drop. That's like four leg drops. That should definitely put a man down. And there we go. Here is your winner and still WWE Champion, Hogan. Listen to the ovation. Hogan is truly a real American. What can I say? I'll give credit what credit is due. I never thought it could be done, JR. Never underestimate the ability of WWE Champion Hulk Hogan. That's the first time in 15 years that Andre the Giant has ever been defeated. Hulk Hogan has done the impossible on the stage of the greatest wrestling event of all time. WrestleMania 3. History has been made tonight. And history was made. Hulk Hogan not only defeated Andre the Giant and became the first man to uh, defeat Andre the Giant, ending his 15-year career uh, winning streak, excuse me, but he also lit a fire under the ass of professional wrestling. And that slam we saw was what really propelled wrestling into uh, what it is today, the phenomenon it is today. So for beating that match, we... Uh, won Andre the Giant from WrestleMania 3 and 4, Bobby the Brain Heenan from WrestleMania 3, Hulk Hogan from WrestleMania 3, and the WrestleMania 3 Arena. We're going to go back to the timeline menu because we're going to end... It's the NWO music. That is the end of this music, and next time we uh, do uh, the WrestleMania mode, we're going to be doing Macho Man Randy Savage versus Ted DiBiase. So I hope you guys have enjoyed Episode 2 of Let's Play WWE 2K14's 30 Years of WrestleMania. If you have, do me a favor, leave me a comment, a like, and please subscribe if you have not already. And as always, my name has been OMG, WTF, LOL, FT, WBRB. And I'll see you nerds and geeks in Episode 3 when we go to WrestleMania 4. So until then, you nerds and geeks have yourselves a wonderful day. And don't forget to share this video with your friends, Facebook, and Twitter to help share the channel and uh, help it grow. Have a great day, nerds and geeks.